Hey YouTube, how you doing? Josh here. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we have something cool for you today. Uh, we're going to be working on a R32 GTR. Uh, basically, this video is going to be a how-to on how to remove your back glass and put a new molding on it. A lot of the back glasses on the GTRs and R32 sedans, the corners, they lift up. So we're going to be fixing that. We're going to be taking the glass completely out of the vehicle and putting it back in with brand new molding. The moldings that we have been selling on our Facebook page. Um, <laughs> so if you need a new molding for the windshield of your GTR or R32, go to our Facebook page and you can find uh, where you can buy those from us. Uh, the link will be down in the description. Also, any tools and any products that we're using on this GTR, I'll put description the links in the description below. That way... Um, if you need any of that stuff, you guys can buy that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, let's show you what we're working on today. See, so here's the molding. See how just after years of weathering and just shrinking, the sun shrinking and the weather getting after it, it actually it lifts. So we're going to have to be, we're going to be replacing that today. You can see this side too. So we're going to be replacing it with the moldings that we have available. Again, if you need these moldings, you can find them on our Facebook. Pop it up. Just, just, just put the wiper up. That's how it goes. Oh, okay. There it goes. It's just spinning. You think so? Inside. You hear that? Let me just, uh, take it off. I don't know if I just stripped it out. <laughs> no? Yeah, I think it's going. It's pretty short though, that little. Yeah. Sit it right there in the middle. You could probably just take it right off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See other screw right here. It's that's what I would do. Is I'd hit like directly like that and just snap that last little bit. That's too much. Yeah, I don't want. To. All right, guys, we got the bolt off. It was seized to begin with. Someone cross-threaded it. It took us almost an hour. <laughs> it's off, though. Right, okay, now we can work. Yeah. All right, guys, so now what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and remove the moldings here. Matthew's here going to just go ahead and take all the moldings off. Oh, 
Oh. Those are in there. Try this other side. supposed to be soft. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the sun just ate them up and dry rotted, you know? Stuff done already. It's all good. No, you want to have a from Japan. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, sli it slides out. It's just like the S14. Same thing as the S14. There's a lot of rust in there. No. Surprisingly, there's not. And see these guys here, these little yellow things. It stops the glass from coming down that way. It has the perfect groove all the way around. So all you gotta do really is just align it from left to right. And as long as your groove is right from left to right, you really don't have to worry about alignment from, you know, up and down. Mm -hmm. And pretty much this lines it up too. You see, I mean, this little grommet's gonna stay on the wiper motor. So the glass is gonna go perfectly right over the grommet so as long as you have the glass right over it i mean it's going to be perfectly centered and, you know, these things on there too, huh? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then like i said those are stoppers just so that it doesn't, it doesn't slide down and create any kind of leaks or any kind of problems up at the top of the glass uh, okay yep all right guys so now what we're doing is uh cutting the glass out and again we're doing this with just the basic auto glass hand tools We'll show you in other videos how to do it when we use the uh, rip cord and the easy wire. But basically, here, let me see this. These are the cold knives. So again, this is the longer one. This is the shorter one. We'll go with the short one, and then Matthew's going to go with the longer one. And the key, the key to this is once you stick that cold knife in there, you have to hold that cold knife straight up and down. I mean, you cannot let it move left to right too much. You want it to have the cold knife straight up and down. When you do that, it's not going to let the cold knife slide up against the glass and crack the, the glass. So again, you gotta have that, you gotta hold that cold knife just right. So that cold knife, again, it needs to stand straight up. You can't have it tilted like this or tilted back. It needs to be straight up as you're cutting it. See just how Matthew's cutting it. He's holding the glass, the cold knife, straight up and down at a 90 degree. And we went ahead and just lubed up the whole pinch hole just with water. Nothing extra. No soap. No soapy water. No lubricants. You don't want to contaminate the pinch weld. That way when you finish and it's time for you to install the glass, you're not contaminating the pinch weld. Because you do want your glass, your urethane that you're using to adhere to the body properly. If you use any kind of chemicals to cut it out, it's going to compromise the pinch weld, the area and where the bead of the glue is going to go. Is there a heated tube right here? Or? It should be here and here. It's just a piece of the molding. I just want to get it out. 
so it doesn't block me. Again guys, you gotta hold the knife straight up and down. Maintain a firm hold. You see how the knife is straight up and down? It's not tilted to the left or to the right, towards him or away from him. And again, for your do-it-yourselfers, if you need these tools, just let us know. We can port you into the right direction and where to get these tools from. All right, so we're just gonna finish cutting it out. Then we're gonna go ahead and take it out, put the molding on, clean the pinch weld, glue it back in before it gets dark. All right, guys, what we're just doing now is we're just trimming. We're just trimming all the old glue off of the back glass. After I finish doing this. After I do this, then we're just going to wipe it off. Just wipe it off. I'm going to put the molding on there. The molding that we have on our Facebook page, the one that y'all been buying from us. We're going to go ahead and uh, put that on there. And we'll get some detailed pictures of how it looks. Alright, so there we're just going to clean it off, put the molding on, and that's pretty much it. This is the molding here that we have on our Facebook, it comes wrapped up. So as you guys know, you've already been buying this molding from us for your GTRs and your sedans. It's the rain channel molding. So it's going to go, it has butyl on the inside. When it gets warm outside, it will make good contact and it will get, get, grab a hold of that back glass. Create a good seal, has a rain channel effect. That way the water collects, connects in the channel, runs down the sides, and runs off the vehicle. It won't collect on the car on the molding. So I'll just go ahead and just put this on there. All right, so we have everything out. We went ahead and just took all the seats out and package trays out. Give us a little bit extra room to work with. It's getting dark pretty quick, so we're just gonna go ahead and slap it in. We'll get some after pictures on what it all looks like. All buttoned up. I'll show the glass here. So here's the glass with the molding on. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot glue and put it in, install it. All right, guys, so <clears throat> as you may know, um, while we were filming the uh, GTR, we came across a few problems with the wiper nut. So that took us quite a bit to get that off. And unfortunately, the dark came and beat us. And uh, we weren't able to finish the job before dark. So that's uh, kind of upsetting that we weren't able to show you 
all the way 100% of the um, process and you know doing an R and I on this uh, back glass for the GTR. But uh, not to worry, we actually do a lot of those. We do a lot of windshields and do a lot of back glass R and I's for those. So we will have one um, pretty soon. There's a helicopter. And then there's a rooster. Okay. So, again, um, that's funny, huh? Um, stay tuned. Again, we'll have other videos uh, showing this procedure that we just did. I just really wanted to go ahead and put this out there for you guys. That way you can kind of see more or less of what's going on. Um, but stay tuned. We always do GTRs. So we're pretty much the only guys that do them here in Texas. Um, as of now, I know there was maybe some a few guys down south that does them or whatnot. So um, stay tuned. We'll bring you some more fresh content. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, let's get this going. Spread the word, and we'll bring you some fresh content. All right, guys. Peace out.